Welcome. What about body hair transplants? It's an excellent question and a lot of my patients have questions about running out of donor in their scalp and if body hair transplants are right for them. Well, first of all, what are body hair transplants? Body hair transplant is any hair that is non-scalp that's used for transplantation. So it can be from the beard, from the chest, abdomen, back, and even the extremities. Now, does body hair really work? Well, the easy answer is yes and no. I mean, not all body hair is created equal. You have beard, which is coarse, which does very well um, as far as growth and survivability. Uh, I, in my clinic, we have about 80% uh, survivability with beard hair. It's also an excellent source with regards to numbers. We can oftentimes get anywhere from 1,000 to even 1,500 total grafts over multiple sessions of extraction here. Chest and abdomen are a little bit less so. They are, are finer hairs and often don't survive as well as beard and body. I typically tell my patients anywhere from 60% or so survivability. And then you have back and ab extremity, extremities as well, which the survivability really depends. Also, each type of body hair grows slightly different. As you know, beard hair grows very long, is very coarse, so it's actually very good for filling in in the scalp, um, and it grows for many years. As you know, with beards, they grow long. As far as chest hair um, and abdomen hair, it's usually very skinny, very short, and only uh, lasts for a few months. So even if it does grow on the scalp, it doesn't really give much of an impact, and the length of longevity is not there. So are you a candidate? Uh, some people would, would love to have body hair once they've run all out of their scalp. And that's typically the patients that I recommend to use body hair for those who have undergone the strip method of FUT or FUE and are running low in their supply of donor hair. Those are patients which we entertain uh, doing a body hair transplantation. Now, uh, Dr. John Cole mentioned a, a very quick and easy test to determine if you have adequate body hair. It's pretty much the across the room test. Now, if you can see chest hair um, in nice thickness or extremity hair in nice thickness from across the room, it may, may very well benefit you um, on your scalp. If not, it's going to be a little bit tougher to cause any nice uh, impact in, in the procedure. Now, how does it work? Well, we extract the hairs in a similar method to the um, scalp hair, except that we use different instrumentation and slightly different techniques. Of course, it's FUE, so each individual graft is taken out one by one. Uh, the anesthesia is pretty much the same as typical FUE. The grafts are very fragile, so we have to take very good care of them uh, once they're removed. Um, as well, we like to always use implanters when replacing body ha hair grafts especially, as this reduces the risk of, of trauma to those grafts. In addition, uh, body hair is typically used as a filler. So once you've had a session or two of uh, scalp transplantation with using scalp hair, uh, the body hair is used more as an additional filler in between the grafts. Um, for example, the beard hair is very coarse, so you wouldn't want to have that along the hairline. It look very unnatural. Uh, but beard hair being very coarse is very nice to go in between scalp hair. So it's actually kind of a nice addition if you can get away with it. Um, beard, uh, abdomen, and chest hair in our clinic are my go-to uh, recommendations for initially using body hair transplantation. Uh, I don't perform uh, particularly back or extremity hair transplantation. I found it has poor yield, as I mentioned before, but some clinics are using that for various things, such as hairline work, very soft um, work. So I hope this has answered some of your questions about, about body hair. If you have more questions, I encourage you to contact the office at Shapiro Medical, and I'd be happy to have a consultation with you. Thank you very much.